Yeah, bro. Say hi. Hi, yeah, me? Yeah. Oh, hi. That was good. We're <laughs> here with the clients. Yeah. You're welcome, Sansa. Enjoy your life. Thank Ciao. You. Hi guys, so we just got back from um, having breakfast not so long ago. So I want to give you guys a rundown of how yesterday went. Yesterday was nice. We got to see um, Tanzania, at least some parts of Tanzania. So um, the agent that we booked with had like an itinerary for us so on monday was where we had to move um see the prison island see um nakupenda nakupenda this is nakupenda island she's here she's queen she's famousy she's icon of nigeria you're welcome <laughs> Um, I was supposed to see this. Um, well, I was supposed to visit Stone Town as well, but when I tell you that I couldn't go any other place, I was exhausted and my body was kind of aching. I had worked a lot, so to prevent oh, there's no mosquito, my god. <laughs> So to prevent a crisis from happening, we said, okay, let's scrap to, um, stone, stone town tar for the day. So the first place we went to was um, prison tar, I'm um, not prison island. So um, the bus came over to our resort here at La Marcienne and um, it was like a one hour, 30 minutes drive. And when we got to one location, I don't even know. Maybe do you know what the location was where we took the boat? Yeah, where they dropped us and we took the boat. That was Stone Town. Okay, well, that was Stone Town actually. So we took a boat. You should remove it. Yeah, I'm trying to be in there. Trying to be cool, just trying to be in there. Tell me how you do. Can you feel where the wind is? Can you feel it through all of the windows inside this room? So I wanna touch you, baby. During our ride there, our tour guide really just gave us some breakdown about you know Tanzania. I I learned a couple things. I learned um, Asante Sana means thank you. Um, but it was I love you again. Eh. Yeah, Nakupenda means I love you, and Nakupenda is actually a place in Tanzania. So I learned Nakupenda. It means I love you and the person that you're saying Nakupenda to has to reply by saying Nakupenda Pierre. <laughs> so my baby is going to hear Nakupenda. He's going to be tired of me saying Nakupenda. <laughs> but anyway, so um, our tour guide was really nice. Honestly, I really enjoyed. They made us feel at home. We, they were so friendly. In fact, a lot of the clips you see was taken by one of our tour guides, Omari. Oh my god, that guy is like a natural photographer. He took all the videos. He he wore he, he carried it on his head. Our photography. You will see. <laughs> you see clips of us in the in the boat having fun. You see the tour guide Salim talking to us, explaining to us, um, telling us more about Tanzania. Um, he told us how Tanzania is made up of two places, Ugunja and I think Man, Man something, I can't remember, but obviously we're, we're in Ugunja. We got to Prison Island, so apparently the Prison Island was obviously like during the colonial period. Um, during the colonial period, they built that place for, you know, putting, having, putting prisons for prisoners. Um, in Tanzania, they were they were colonized by Arabs. Some parts were colonized by the UK. Sometimes some parts were colonized by. 
some other countries I can't remember, but mostly Arabs too, because it's like in Tanzania they're like 95%. Uh, uh, sorry, in Zanzibar, in Zanzibar, my husband just corrected me. In Zanzibar, they're like 95% um, Muslims because they were colonized by Arabs. So we got to the prison island and we're told that unfortunately, or fortunately, what am I saying? <laughs> They didn't use the prison island for what it was meant for because then again like um, at that period in time they had a breakout for yellow yellow fever so they now converted that prison island to like a, a quarantine station so anybody that had yellow fever would go to will be taken to prison islands there for quarantine and it made a lot of sense because while we're coming here we had to get a yellow card we had to have get a yellow um vaccine yeah a vaccine for yellow fever where they had to give us a yellow card to prove that we're taking that our vaccine and we did take our vaccine obviously because i'm not about to come here and you know get some malaria that i don't i just don't understand or hit by something i don't get if you, you if you're someone that you know like um lives with sickle cell you know that malaria is a no-go and any other thing extra is also a no-go so please give me the yellow um, fever vaccine i will take it because i did my research and when i said okay what is yellow fever i saw that it was also like some kind of malaria kind of i when i saw malaria i was like mm, 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 mm. no way so we took our vaccine and one of the things i we bought was um make sure i bought my um malaria cream so just rub it um once in a while i bought my malaria drugs too because girl i'm not joking anyway so from prison island still in prison island they took us to yeah a place where they had like a lot of tortoises there we saw like really old tortoises we saw tortoises that were like um close to um two decades um no two decades sorry 20 decades like close to 200 years old um tortoises and they were huge like i never knew like tortoises could get that huge and they said that okay they they created a place for tortoises in prison islands because apparently like people people eat um tortoises over here so that's like a safe zone for them and they have like over 100 close to 200 tortoises there at the moment so we got to feed tortoises i was scared because i had never seen a tortoise that big but some part of me now wants to maybe one sometime in the future have a a tortoise pet because i feel like i really want to study how they are able to live so long like a tortoise that is 200 years old that nigga has seen things <laughs> that nigga has seen things that nobody can even dream of seeing do you know what it means to be 200 years old i would like to have a tortoise pet so i can see how they how they are living how they're able to live so long after that we then went to on the same day we went to um um nakupenda nakupenda um it looked like a beach it was around up i am um, island on its own um it was really nice we changed into our beach where we had a lot of seafood i had octopus for the first time and guys the octopus tasted nice nice and i think we had um it was it lobster or crab we had that was lobster both wow like over here I, we've had crab before and i i didn't like crab in fact that just changed my mind about crabs but we we had crabs we had lobster like every seafood on that platter tasted really nice we had prawns but the lobster just busted my head and the um calamari i think it's calamari they called it right babe yeah here um in lagos we've had calamari before at ocean's basket and i hated it i hated it so much but the calamari here i was like this is different and it tasted nice it tasted really it tasted really good so we had all that it was really feeling then they gave us some um fruits you know pineapples watermelon all of that good stuff 
and at some point my husband went to play football with some of the people that were there because we're not the only ones there we saw like, other tourists as well and people were swimming obviously i went close to the water you know but like with i did it with care and caution tell me why after we went under our tent tell me why my husband stood up and entered the sea and was going down and down and down this is someone that did that he cannot swim oh <laughs> my heart was beating on his behalf but he was really having fun i'm like okay good but i could never i could never i just went a distance where i felt like i was comfortable with and i still enjoyed the view it was nice took in the sun all of that good stuff you guys it was so exciting to be honest then after after seeing um nakupenda we just um then go, um took our uh, took a boat back to you know where we we'll see our bus took a bus back to where we we'll see our bus and from there we got back home really quite late in the evening maybe around like 8 i think maybe 8 p.m ish when I got back home, I was knackered. When I tell you I was knackered, I just slept off. And I woke up this morning and I said, okay, I'm going to give you guys the gist. But it was really nice. So today is actually rest day. So we are resting. We're not doing anything. Then tomorrow we're probably going to the beach or something. I don't know. But definitely take you guys along but yeah that's pretty much it it was a very nice experience i'm really happy that i'm able to do this and still manage you know my body um aside just me i'm also like my husband has also been of really great help um over here when, when we have the heater sometimes i turn the temperature on to like very high temperature where the place is really hot just because you know because we are surrounded by the sea we are surrounded by cool breeze and obviously like that much breeze or cold can actually have adverse effects on me so we, we, we kind of deal with that by turning the heater on and obviously taking my meds i still took my meds this morning i said i take my meds every day and so far it has been really awesome taking things one day at a time gently calmly knowing your body hmm that's not your body you cannot just be jumping 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 everywhere knowing your body and yeah that's pretty much it so i'll see you guys maybe tomorrow or next yeah bye